What's going on guys? Uh, you'll probably see a weird light. I'm, I'm wearing a light on top of my head because it makes it easier to see because it's uh, 5 a.m. in the morning and um, one of my subscribers is actually, I consider him a friend because we talk a lot on YouTube. Matt was asking about how I determine if I body mount or truck mount. All right, these are Tycos. So Matt, first you need a height gauge. I think are right there. I'll aim up a little bit. Now I'm actually using the camera so I can zoom in. Now you need to determine the height you need. Now these are horn hooks, so it'll be off. But that is, a, is that will this will probably be a, tr a truck mount. So, this is a Tyco. So, in order to do the Tyco, I usually pop this off. There's a release on the bottom. There's a little peg. Now, I've got precision screwdrivers. So, I pop off, pop this little tab up. It's, it slides right out. Now, as I said before, horn hooks do their job. I just, they're hard to unlatch. You have to physically unlatch these. That's the only issue I have with these. So, you set that aside. My buddy Rob, he likes those, so I save them for him. Um, get out a new coupler. In this case, it's a Bachman Easy Mate. Now the reason I like these is they are, well, let's be honest, they're the cheapest magnetic you can get. They're plastic though, so that's kind of a drawback. Um, you can pull, I've tested it safely up to 40 of these weighted. Now keep in mind that your Tyco's on, pl on plastic wheels. I don't have enough money to buy the metal wheels yet, so that's kind of another drawback of metal wheels. I just slide this in. Pop that down again. And it slides in. Now, there's an adapter that fits in here. But the drawback of that is it won't flex anymore. But I'll show you what they look like. Let's call it Talgo. T-A-L-G-O. And what you do is with these, this is them. They head in at a, a sideways like this and you turn it. Now when you turn it, this locks in each end. I'll show you just so you'll know. I'm trying to keep the light on it. It's the hard part. Okay, it's in. Well, maybe. If at first you don't succeed, try and try it there. There we go. Alright, if you heard it, it snapped. Now the problem is, the flex on side to side isn't as great, but the plus side of this is this turns with it, so it's not much of an issue. Now, we go back to our height gauge, and if I'm off, then I can always raise this up. Now, height gauge is in. Look at that. Spot on. See? Now you want these the same height as always. You want them the same height because if everything in your kit is the same height, then you will have no issues. So this one's done. See, simple enough. It's pure and simple, that's all it is. 
this takes, I mean, if it had snapped in faster, it would have been a lot faster. Now, when I have these out, like I said, these are tacos. They're light. They're too light. Remember my big box of weights? These are a fourth of an ounce each. So I do two. One on each end. Because if, if eventually these will all have loads. The loads add about an ounce. So there's no need to add the exact weight that you need on this. So keep that in mind when you weight your cars. If they're too light, they unhook they don't roll as well now as I had said in real life you have to think about a train they have to balance the friction just right so if they're trying to stop or start they need friction if they're trying to ro roll they don't need it so the the better it rolls the better it performs for you on your train set now Matt had asked what is a tap and die? Which I, I, I'm sure he knows what it is. But this is if you're doing a body mount. Now, those that have used a tap and die before know how much of a headache this can be. Now, Matt, if you're serious about a body mount, you need to find the exact size of a drill bit. This is a carbide tip, 1 16th by 8th. That's how small it is. Look how small the whole thing is. Let me find one that's already been body mounted. Alright. Matt, this is a body mount. You need the boxes here. See these boxes? They're sold by KD. These boxes here, you put in your, if you're, if you're getting a KD coupler, they come with the mounting spring, and I do them as a full set. So I tap into that tongue on this one. This actually had a tongue on already. It's under here. So I tap into that tongue. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think my, my height is off on these well if my height is off I have to adjust the height to make it right or else it, it won't alright this is technically too high it'll engage but it's not right so I need to lower that now how some people lower is washers they they put the wa the washers under the box, which drops the, the box. Now KD makes conversions for these, which adjust the, the height itself. This is a mid mount, a center shank. It's dead even. Now if you pay attention, which I did not, so I will be the first to admit to that. I need to see if this is too high or too low. Let's, uh, I need to weight this thing too, I can tell by it. All right. Now that is technically a wee bit too tall. So they actually make a drop mount of a coupler that drops this and puts it on the bottom of the shank. So it would drop the height of that, but I don't have those. I have all the same height. They're called center shank. But Matt, another important thing in doing a tap and die on a, on a body mount is your thread. This is your, I think this is your die. Yeah, yeah. No, sorry, this is your tap? God, I don't know about these detergents. <laughs> terms y'all I'm sorry but see the see the threads on this 
This is a two, five, six thread. The reason it's a two, five, six thread is because of my screws I have. I have a giant bag of 256 by 1 fourth machine screw. Now these are stainless steel hunter pack. I got these off eBay for like, I think they were six dollars. I, th I think a dollar for shipping. I've used a lot of these. I had to do a lot of body mounts, especially on the uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the the passenger stuff. So you use your drill bit map. I bought this in a set. This came with the thread tool. I got this and this in a set. You put this in a just any drill. Now you have to be specific on where you want to mount. So I recommend height gauge, a, a tap and die set, and a pack of screws. That's the big thing. Now these don't need body mount because all the Tycos, as I said, had said, are truck mount. Now people will ask, well, what if you have two different heights? How I do that is I make a conversion car. One side will be a truck mount that's the right height, but sometimes you get problems like this car. He's too high, so I'll do a body mount on this side. Now, the body mount for these in a Tyco, I put right there at the end of that dead center and have it flush with the edge now that raises it just a fuzz so it would be even with that so I can run cars and make them have one side a body mount and one side a truck mount so you have a conversion car now that's the easy way to do it the the other way is to make sure they're all the same height, which is hence I use this thing consistently. I use this all the time. All right. Now, as I said, it, it goes back to my tool set. Um, now, I don't have the best. I don't claim to have the best set, um, but I've got precision, precision, bleh. The precision screwdrivers. A little bit of glue because you never know. It's almost out. This side is the adapters I showed you that snaps them in. Machine screws here. Um, the weights here. Couplers. This is a whole pack of the Bachmans. These are the ones I want to use, but I don't have the. These are KD's, a center shank. I have no centering springs, so I can't use these. I want to, but the centering springs are only sold with the couplers. So I'm pretty much. Well, I'm kind of screwed on that one, so I'll have to figure out a way to make these center without a spring. If it was a Bachman. Uh, no, an a -thern. They have a peg that helps center these. So I won't have to eat. The wheels here, when I have them, are in here. Uh, that's for the tap and die heads. Rubber bands, you never know. Uh, the mounting boxes were in here, but I'm out of the, of the lids. The thing is, I can flip this and use the bottom as a cover so I can just mount like that and it'll work. Um, some washers in here. That's pretty much it. I have a drill with separate. Oh, this is just spare parts. A dummy pl pl plug in there. Uh, the screws that came from the factory with the Bachman. And 
pretty much it, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna hop on off here and work on these. Uh, I've almost finished the Virginians. That's I've already done so, that's some of these. There's a I had quite a lot. The wife is like, you're obsessed. That's a hobby. Um, I'm randomly sell stuff, but I, I'm not selling these or my southern to the Norfolk and Western hoppers. Will never sell my hoppers. But y'all, I'm gonna hop off here and uh, get all my um, to to work with these. Uh, the layout itself is almost done. I uh, still need to fine tune the bottom. I'll probably do a separate video for the test run on the under to see if it hits the foam because I have to be able to to, sw to swing the engines to get off the inner to the outer so but y'all stay tuned thanks again